In this video, I'm going to tie the Great Drake dry fly that's used to imitate Great Drake mayflies from uh, June to August when they hatch. To tie this fly, I'm using a Mustad 94840 dry fly hook in size 10. It's a fairly large size mayfly. And as usual, I've debarbed the fly at the bench. For my thread, I'm going to use 8 out tan. Make sure I got a good base to work from. For the tail, I'm going to use hackle bar from a dark down dry fly hackle feather. What I'm going to do is just try to line up the tips as much as I can. And just wrap them off. And then I'm going to make the tail roughly the length of the hook shank. And then Cut the ends off here. Then for the ribbing, I'm going to use uh, embroidery thread. And when you get into embroidery thread, one piece of embroidery thread has like uh, five or six strands there. I'm using one of these strands for my ribbing. And this guy's using a dark grey ribbing. For the body, I'm going to use super fine dabbing in Adam's Grey. And as this is a bigger mayfly, I'm not too concerned about having a small amount of dubbing, this one you can put a fair amount of dubbing on look to the front and gradually build taper body Maybe a little bit more And in the ribbing, I will do wraps evenly spaced in the opposite direction from how my dubbing was applied to the hook. Tie it in. For the wing, I'm going to use uh, gray polyon and if I take the polyon out of the package I usually divide it into half and I take one of these halves for my wing and a couple of wraps around the base Push the wings up. Then for the hackle, I'm going to use two tartan hackles. Tie them in one at a time. You can tie this fly parachute style too. Uh, I sometimes like to tie 
the muscat skill style or traditional drive lifestyle. The one benefit of a traditional drive lifestyle is that it rides higher in the water and that's useful for um, choppier water. Obviously the benefit of um, parachutes is that they ride lower in the water, gives you a better profile and also better suited for calmer water. A couple wraps behind the wing and then a few wraps in the front. Tie in. Take the second one. Well, okay, cut this one off first. Whiting hackle, I probably could have gotten away with only using one hackle to be honest. Um, but two hackles just makes quite a dense fly. But I easily could have done with one with one hackle. Tie it in. And then whoop finish. Then trim the, the wing at an angle again, just above the angle tips. And then a bit of head cement. To finish the fly. And there you are, the Grey Drake dry fly.